Hey everybody, I'm here, also known as 8 Benelow, bringing you all another video. Got home yesterday from work and saw a giant package in front of my front door from the one and only, this was a complete surprise, but this is usually how he works, uh, Legendary Jim. So Legendary Jim has sent me a surprise VCLT package. Um, if you've been watching me for a while, you know who Legendary Jim is. He is someone who just fills this vinyl community up with love and generosity and is just incredible. So this is a giant package. It's very, very heavy. Um, so I'm going to actually set it on the table that I have here because um, it's very, very heavy. So ugh, I do not think... I would be able to kind of hold that and open. So I'm gonna set this here, um, and then we will get into the unboxing portion. So Jim, as always in advance, thank you so, so much. Um, always appreciate the support and love that you've given me over the past kind of couple years here since I've been in the vinyl community. So we're gonna open this up and see what's, uh, what Jim is gonna make me um, tear up about today. I'm gonna try not to cry. I have a thing with a couple VCLTs that I've gotten with Jim and Jeff where I cry, but we'll see what happens. I'm a very emotional person. All right, we're gonna speed this up, but here is the Now we'll get into the unboxing. Okay, here's the first thing that I have. Looks like a couple of CDs. I see John Mayle in there. So we have Coverdale Page, which I'm not all too familiar about. Jim is known for throwing some amazing CDs in his VCLT. He sent me uh, Midnight Callers, their debut album from last year to me in a VCLT. And actually it made my top 10 albums of the year. So they're an amazing kind of modern day rock power pop influenced by Tom Petty and Cheap Trick and bands like that. So very cool. And then a John Mayle that I did not have. This is from 2017, a live recording. Three for the Road. Fantastic addition to the Mail collection. Love that man. Absolutely adore John Mayle. All right. There's definitely more in here. And like I said, it feels like a t-shirt. So here's the shirt. Speaking of Midnight Callers, we have a Midnight Caller shirt. That is awesome. Oh, very, very cool. I love obviously wearing different shirts, band shirts, record shirts. I actually wear them to school tell stories about Hendrix shirts and trying to get my students to listen to these bands. So this is absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to sport this shirt and give some uh, love to my midnight callers. I really hope that maybe this summer with things kind of opening back up again, they maybe tour um, either this summer or this fall around where I'm at because this is a band that I would really like to see. And I'm really excited to just hear what they come out with um hopefully soon i know they're participating in like a brian wilson tribute so i'm gonna have to keep my eye out for that cardboard divider we're gonna go in and see this feels like a million records so jim unreal all right here we go We got some John Mayle. I do not have this one. Uh, this is John Mayle and the Blues Breakers Padlock on the Blues uh, with special guest John Lee Hooker. This is on my list. Uh, this is an album that I have wanting, have been wanting to pick up um, recently, especially as I've been kind of working through the Mayle geography, uh, but absolutely awesome. One of my goals for this year, I think I mentioned this in my vinyl tag, is kind of working through my Mayo collection. His discography is so big. 
So this is definitely a major, major help. And Jim has helped me with his, with Mayo's geography, so, uh, geography, discography, so, so much. So, all right, padlock on the blues, fantastic mail record by the Blues Breakers. Next up, we have, I already know what this is. This is Peter Green, right? <sighs> Peter Green colors, music on vinyl. This has been on my want list for a while too. Peter Green, one of the best guitarists of all time. Um, and I love, love, love music on vinyl. So this is a Peter Green I did not have and I've been wanting to grab as well. So very, very cool. Okay. Oh my goodness, there's a handful in here. Okay, we got... Oh! I've also been working on um, The Move in my collection. We have The Move live at the Fillmore, 1969. Another album that is on my want list that I can now finally say I have. Such an underrated band. They should have been bigger in the United States and they never really were. So I've talked about them a handful on my channel now. I won't get into it, but uh, so, so cool. Oh. My goodness. Okay. Moving along. <laughs> need to take a deep breath here. We have, oh my goodness, another one on my want list. I think Jim absolutely attacked my Discogs want list. Donovan, music on vinyl, what's been uh, did and what's been hid. This just came out, I think, um, this year, like a couple months ago, this particular release. And so I put it on my want list because I love Donovan and I've been wanting to add more to the collection. Um, so, oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'll stop saying that. I'll try. What do we have here? We have, what's this one? The Exploding Hearts. Okay, this has to be a gym thing. The Exploding Hearts Guitar Romantic. I cannot say that I know this band, but it looks pretty dang cool. So this this is definitely a Jim thing where he's gonna introduce me to someone that I fall in love with, just like the Midnight Callers. Um, okay, it's this is probably in the note, if there's a note in here, which there is going to be, there always is. Okay, moving along. We have, what's this one? Lost Balloons, Hey Summer. This also is probably a gym thing. I'm trying to find punk rock. So this is probably within the punk realm. Not too familiar, but anything that Jim sends, I know is gonna be extremely enjoyable. He knows my music taste very, very well. So uh, very cool. Excited to check that one out. Okay. What's this one? Super Crush Soto, so, Soto Pop? I feel like I know this. No, I don't. This came out in 2020. I don't know this, but that is a cool cover. It definitely looks like something that I would enjoy, just by the cover. You know something's going to be good if a cover looks like that. So these have to be maybe in, like, the punk realm, I'm guessing, in a, or alternative, or power pop, I don't know. Could be power pop, but, um, I don't know. Very, very cool. Okay. What's this one? After School Special Lunchbox. I feel like I know this. No, maybe? After school special lunchbox. I don't know this one either. Okay, Jim's definitely gonna be getting me on a kick here with something. I cannot wait to find out what these records are about. Sugar, copper blue. This one sounds familiar to me. Let me let me think on, on this one. When did this come out? Debut album. 
includes records, B-sides, and a complete 1992 live show. I feel like I know what this is. I feel like I've seen this before and or have sampled some of this before. But for right now, it's not, it's not ringing a bell. But I feel like this is familiar to me. Okay. There's a few more in here. Just, just throwing that out there. All right. What's that? Matthew Sweet's new album. He hooked me up with uh, Legendary Jim. He hooked me up with Girlfriend a while back, I think in the last package that he sent. And he told me about Cat's Paw coming out. So I'm very glad I didn't pick this up. This was kind of on my list to grab. I still haven't even really listened to it yet. He did send me a sample of it, of uh, a song from the album, which was very, very good. But uh, like I said, I'm glad I didn't pick this up because he hooked it up with Matthew Sweet again. So, so cool. Um, this just came out last year, didn't it? Or this year? Yeah, 2021. So, definitely excited to listen to this as well. A few more. <laughs> What's this one? The Tom Kiefer Band. He's from C Cinderella, right? I think I saw him open for Cheap Trick. Poison, Cheap Trick, and Tom Kiefer. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But I'm pretty sure he's from Cinderella. Uh, limited edition green vinyl. This is his album Rise from 2019, so fairly recent. Really enjoyed the performance. Um, he opened up for Cheap Trick, who opened up for Poison. <laughs> so really, really enjoyable. Um, I don't know a lot about Cinderella, just knowing the band and a couple of songs, but I am interested to hear, uh, kind of his solo work here with, through his band. So this will be a really, really cool listen. Awesome. Okay. Just, it feels never ending. <laughs> All right. We have more Tom Kiefer, The Way Life Goes. I'm going to guess Jim that you're a big fan of Cinderella and you're going to try to rail me in because it's working. If this was your plan, it's definitely working. This is limited edition red vinyl from 2020. So very cool. All right. I'm sold now. I'm going to have to check these out for sure. And still going. A few more, a couple more. Top Gun soundtrack. Uh, this was on my want list for one reason and one reason only, and of course, that is Cheap Trick, Mighty Wings, but just a fantastic soundtrack in general. But a uh, great addition to the Cheap Trick collection, something that I've just been putting off. I have all of their studio albums for the most part, I think, multiple copies, and then uh, record store day releases, limited edition stuff, but I don't really have soundtracks yet, so I'm going to have to start working my way through that because um, they appear on a handful, but Mighty Wings is a phenomenal song. Again, Top Gun, great movie too. Uh, Walmart exclusive, red vinyl. This is awesome. Okay. Feels like maybe one, one more, or is that the cardboard? Okay, one more. Ooh, this is the Sensational Harvey Band. So, made in Germany. Really, really enjoy Alex Harvey, the sensational Alex Harvey band. They're very much kind of in that, like, glam rock um, realm. And there is a great story that I love to tell. So, if you've heard this a million times, I apologize. But Rick Nielsen tells this great story about touring with Alex Harvey and Alex Harvey eating a cassette tape on stage. <laughs> so, ever since then, I was like, okay, I'm sold. So I have Next by Alex Harvey, which I think Jim hooked me up with as well. I did get that in a VCLT. Um, but this is another one that I really don't know. This is This Is. So I, I'm not familiar with this release, maybe a song or two off of here. So I'm excited to give this a listen. I really do enjoy um, the sensational Alex Harvey band. So absolutely awesome. Oh, there's more in there. <laughs> Okay, one more in there. I thought that was the cardboard at the bottom. We have Pacific Gas and Electric Get It On Blues. All right. I can just tell this is going to be something. 
this is going to be something that I absolutely love. I can just tell. Look at that. Something bluesy. All right. I'm going to find this note because this is a lot to, pro to process right now. Okay. Um, he writes, hi, Emma. Here is some music I thought you would enjoy. Uh, first up are two CDs. You mentioned Coverdale Page in previous videos. It is a hard rock album with some blues rock mixed in. This John Mayall CD was on your want list. It's a live recording from Germany in 2017 onto the vinyl. Pacific Gas and Electric is a blues rock band from back in the day. This is their debut album, Get It On. It was released in 1968. This particular copy was a reissue a year or two later. On the original album cover, the girl isn't wearing anything. Um, I saw this Alex Harvey record and grabbed it for you. Why am I giving you a Top Gun soundtrack album? Well, it has a Cheap Trick song on it called Mighty Wings. If you're going to be a completist, then you need this album. Uh, the next two albums are from Tom Kiefer. Kiefer was a lead singer, also played piano and guitar for the band Cinderella. When the band broke up, Kiefer went on with a solo career. These two records are rock albums, but there is a pinch of blues rock on the songs. Okay, now you're selling me here. We now enter the power pop portion of the package. Here's the next Matthew Sweet album, Cat's Paw. I know you sampled a couple of the songs and liked it. Copper Blue by Sugar, released in 1992, is considered an alternative rock album. There are enough guitar hooks that it could be a power pop album. Also is, is included as an EP called Beaster. Here's the latest album from the band Lunchbox. It's entitled After School Special and was released in 2020. Even though it is power pop, it could be classified as jangle pop. I'm pretty sure maybe Hannah showed it then? Omaha introvert? I don't know. Uh, when I saw this next album, I thought it was a death metal album. I thought all death metal albums had colored tennis balls on the cover. Turns out Super Crush is a power pop band. Soto Pop was released in 2020. The founder and lead singer of the band has a punk background, so you get a little bit of that in this album. What happens when a Texan and Japanese get together to make music? Well, Lost Balloons is created. That sounds interesting. Hey Summer was released in 2017, and it also had some punk in the album. Speaking of punk, we now come to an album I've been wanting to give you for a long time. The Exploding Hearts and their album Guitar Romantic was released in 2003. This is the only full-length album they made. As shortly after this record was released, three of the four band members were killed in an automobile accident. Oh my goodness. An original copy of this album is very expensive because of that. This copy is a reissue. I'm going out on a limb and saying you are going to really, really like this album. All right, I'm going to give it a listen and then I'll get back to you, Jim, for sure. The last four albums are from your want list. Here is Donovan and the Music on Vinyl reissue of What's Been Did and What's Been Hid. I almost pooped in my pants when you mentioned the move in a recent update video. I was afraid you were going to show the live at the Fillmore 1969. Lucky for me, you didn't, as I had this record sitting on my table for a couple of months. I know you like Peter Green. Here is Colors on the Music on Vinyl reissue. Oh, looky here. It's a John Mayall album. It's the law. I must give you a John Mayall album uh, record every time I send you something. This is Padlock on the Blues with special guest John Lee Hooker. Bet you thought the Mayall CD was the only John Mayall you would get. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I threw in a Midnight Callers t-shirt. You seem to dig them when I gave you the CD. If the shirt is not the right size, let me know and I'll get you the correct one. It's totally fine. Um, holy cow, you have a lot of listening to do when school gets out. Yes, I do. I get out in a couple of weeks, so this is going to be perfect. Um, and then he also writes, if there's anything you don't like, for, feel free to pass along. Enjoy the music and have a great summer. All the best. Jim, smiley face. <sighs> 20 minutes in. All right. So, Jim, again, thank you so much. Just another unbelievably generous, thoughtful package perfectly curated um just just unbelievable so thank you so so much i cannot wait to give these a listen i can't wait um every time you send me especially records that i don't necessarily know i instantly love them so you have a good music taste you know my music taste we kind of we kind of match there so very excited to listen like i said i get out soon so i'm gonna have a lot of listening to do um but with that everybody i am gonna end this here and get kind of looking through these records and checking them out and maybe spinning a couple. And uh, again, Jim, thank you so much. That's it. Uh, I hope you all are doing well, staying safe, and I will see you all for my next video. Bye, guys.